everyone. Welcome back to part two of the follow along assignment. In part one, we made ourselves a index page that looked generally like this. You may have picked a different uh, icon or whatever, but generally it should look pretty much in line with how it is right here. But we were left off with the fact that we had four different pages here that we could link to that are still currently completely blank. So if I go to the apps page, it's currently blank. So here's the secret about code. Once you have it one page correct with all the different stuff you have that you need, like I'm not going to be changing the background color in the other pages. It's still the same website. The, the uh, style changes in theory should all generally be the same. So I'm just going to copy and I'll go into, say, my applications right over here into my apps menu and paste it. And now my applications page will have generally the same amount of stuff. So if I go to the application page, and there it is, I'm on the application page. So I'll tell you what, I should probably go and change something instead of this saying about us. This will be uh, appetizers. I think I've been saying applications the entire time. Oops. <laughs> application. So let me refresh this. Go to the appetizers page. And in theory, yeah, there's appetizers. So I know that I'm working on generally everything that already exists in the appetizers page. So here we go. Now then, instead of doing a uh, just a paragraph here for this second bit, because we've got the appetizers, and instead of doing a paragraph here, how about I do a table? So instead of this, I'll make this a table style and make this a table. So now, instead of having this big paragraph right there, I will make a... Uh, uh, background white, font size 24, text align justified, padding 20 pixels, color dark gray, width, okay, width I'm changing to 820. And, there we go, inside that table I will have a table row, and inside that table row I will have table data. And that table data will have a style equals uh, the first column. I'll make the width uh, 800 because in theory I'll have a over. I'll have a gap of 20 somewhere right across this. And um, I don't know. I'll make this salad. There's an appetizer salad. Why not? And then I will also have the next row. The next, sorry, not the next row, the next column have a style of equal to text align right. And I'll make that, I don't know, $5. It's a $5 side salad. And in theory, if I scroll down the appetizer page, I now have, let me zoom out here, I have a salad, and the appetizer is $5 over there. So I have this big giant thing for the thing, for the item, and then a little tiny area for the price, and that price is right aligned. So there we go. Now that I know that that works, I'll just simply copy and paste a couple more items in here. So new row, and then a new row, and a new row. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four five, six. There we go. And I'll just switch things up here. So I'll make this a soup. And I'll make that soup four dollars. And I'll make this guy breadsticks. Why not? And breadsticks will be, uh, what, how much are breadsticks? Three dollars? Yeah, three dollars. Breadsticks are generally cheap. Uh, and then there's going to be a cheese plate, a fancy cheese platter. And the fancy cheese platter, that's fancy. It'll be $7. You can tell I don't go out to eat often. These prices are probably very wrong. Boneless wings. Because every place has boneless wings. That's uh, kind of $6. And we'll go with nachos and make nachos four. Nachos and we'll make nachos four. Boom. 
So now if I go to the appetizers page, there's salad, soup, breadstick, cheese platter, and they're all the way over here. That's sort of, there's the pricing. Yay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now the other thing I notice is, currently on the appetizers page, we have a link to go to the appetizers uh, page, which we're already on that page, that doesn't make sense. So how about I switch this guy, this apps out with the index, and I make this say, home. Now, when I click the appetizers page, the first button becomes a home page, and I can go back to the home page, back to us, about us, and so on and so forth. And we're just basically going to do that to every single one of these other, uh, other pages. So I'll copy all this, copy, and I'll go to the dessert page, paste, and this time, instead of having, you know, the salads and whatnot, these are going to be desserts. Desserts, and the dessert page has has a Sunday on it. it. Has a Sunday. It has a cookie. It has Jello. Jello is cheap. <laughs> it has creme brulee. And we're not going to worry about doing the fancy little characters, get the squiggly lines over the E's that we need. We'll have ourselves a brownie. And we'll have ourselves a Zapoli. In case anyone doesn't know what a Zapoli is, it is the kind of a donut that you dip in chocolate. I know that because I'm Italian, although I probably spelt Zapoli incorrectly. Because Italian is just a weird language with a bunch of different extra vowels and letters you didn't think were there. And I'll get rid of this back to, I'll make sure that apps is not actually the application, it's back to the apps. So apps will go back to appetizers. And this time our dessert will become the index. And that'll be our home. And just to test this guy out, go to the dessert page. Dessert page, there's the home button. There's all the stuff. Home button takes me back to, takes us back there. Okay, cool. So that's one down, two down. Let's go to dinner. And dinner will have, once again, that stuff pasted in. But this time the dinner menu will have, well, as always, let's, you know, switch this out so it says dinner. And let's turn the dinner thing into the home, into the index. So this will be the, uh, the home right there because I'm currently in that option. And this guy will be back to the being the apps button. So appetizer. And let's change these items around here. So let's see here. I probably can't use these prices anymore for just the, these things. So this will be chicken breast. And that's probably going to be something like seven bucks, right? And then we'll have pasta. Pasta oddly is expensive somehow. So pasta is generally, uh, never always seemed like get $8. Filet mignon, let's do that. Filet mignon. And let's just add a three to that. You're not getting filet mignon for anything below $30 at any restaurant. Let's have a cheese, instead of a cheese platter, let's have a cheese burger. We go, and let's have, well, instead of boneless rings, let's have ribs. And ribs will be, I don't know, $26. Why not? And you know what? We can have ourselves, we've got a veggie option, so let's have a veggie burger. And veggie burgers are generally more expensive than normal burgers. It's 8 bucks. Let's go and click the dinner button just to make sure. There's the dinner. Dinner becomes the home button. There's all the prices. Click the home button. It brings us back. We're good. So, last one, drinks. Let's paste that in. And drinks will become the drinks menu. And let me just go in here and switch appetizers back to the uh, apps.html. And appetizers. And drinks will become the index. And that button will say home. Because, you know, as always, you need something to click on and uh, something to click on and somewhere to go. You know, that's generally how hyperlinks work. 
It's the same rules as they were back in uh back in back in Excel. And I'll go to the drinks page, and what do we got here? We'll have I don't know, we'll have ourselves a soda. Soda will be three bucks. And we'll have ourselves some root beer. Root beer is generally better than soda, so it'll be four dollars. We'll have some lemonade. Lemonade. And lemonade, yeah, restaurant lemonade is generally kind of garbage. Three dollars. We'll have ourselves a beer. It'll be a cheap beer because it's only six bucks. <laughs> we'll have some wine. It'll be a cheap wine. It'll only be seven bucks. And then last but not least, we'll have water. What if, if, if this place charges you for water, that'd be terrifying. But water is zero dollars. And, you know, we'll test it out. Let's go to the drinks menu. Drinks becomes the home button. There's all the prices. I click back to this. It works. Yay. So, in theory, now if I were to zoom this all out, stretch this over, I have myself a working page from beginning to end with, you know, appetizers. I can go to the appetizers to the dessert menu, to the dessert menu, to the drink menu, the dinner menu to that. And wherever I wind up going... The page that I'm currently on, the title switches up, and the guys up here changes to the home button, and that's generally a working website. Now, I could have done something else. I mean, right now you'll notice everything is all left aligned, even over here. I probably could have tabbed this over some. I also could have, instead of doing hard coding pixel widths, I could have, you know, done a mathematical calculation to, to determine, you know, the size of their screen based on the width and height dimensions of the screen. I could, you know, then mathematically calculate how big each thing needs to be, but we're not going to go that much in depth here. This is generally, within about 30 minutes, a fully functioning sample website that looks nice and pretty. It's got an image, got some background, got a color scheme going, and, you know, it's easy to read. So, all in all, it's generally a pretty decent website. And, you know, as always, once you've gotten to this point, please, you know, uh, save. You know, send me, send me the, uh, either send me this, send me your actual link, or, if you need to, go in and just copy all your code, paste it onto a bunch of different Word documents, one for, you know, each individual page, and send that in. And once you do, be good to go, and you'll be able to move on to the do-it-yourself, which I'll show you in the next video. So, thank you everyone, you have a great day.